So guys, latest modifier is one of the most important tool in Blender. As you can see at the background, you can do a lots of cool thing with latest modifier. In this video, I will try to explain everything I know about latest modifier. So let's do it. So guys, shift plus A, mesh, then add a cube. Tap to edit mode, select everything by pressing A, press S to scale, then press on Z to scale on Z axis, move your mouse to scale it, think the height is ok, tap to object mode, so this is our main cube, let's add the lattice object, shift plus A, lattice, let's go to wireframe view, so this is our lattice object and this is our main cube, so select the lattice object, press S to scale. So before you scale the latest object, you need to remember this very important thing that you should always scale your latest object in object mode, not in edit mode. If you do anything in edit mode, it will affect your main object. Let me show you. So this is what we done in edit mode. Let's go to material preview. Let's apply latest modifier to our cube. Before that, let's name our latest something. It's totally up to you. Let's name it ABC just for identification. So select the cube, then go to modifier tab, then click on add modifier, then select the lattice and in object select our lattice object. As you can see as soon as we select our lattice object, our cube immediately deformed. But this is abnormal. This should not happen. So guys that's why we should not apply any kind of change in our lattice object in edit mode before applying it to our main object. Let's go to solid view, select our ABC lattice, then delete it. Let's go to wireframe view again, shift plus A, then add a new lattice, press S to scale. Now we are in object mode, so we will not have any problem here. Give it same size as our object or only the place where you want to affect the lattice modifier to your object. So press S to scale, then Z to scale on Z axis, S, X. Let's apply it properly. So we have not done any kind of change to our latest object in edit mode. So now we will be okay. So select our main cube, go to modifier tab, then under modifier, let's select lattice. Click on the object bar and let's select our lattice object. See now there is no deform. So let's select our lattice object and go to edit mode. Now we can change whatever we want. Let's increase the size here. Press S to scale. Let's narrow it down. Let's select all the upper vertices. Let's rotate it. See what's happened. Ctrl plus R to loop cut. But what's happening? We cannot add any kind of loop cut to our latest object. To add loop cut to our latest object, we need to go to this object data properties of latest object, then increase this resolution U, V and W. See? Let's go to wireframe view. Let's select all the vertices at the middle and try to narrow down our cube. But it's not working. So what's the problem? Let's go to object mode, select our cube tap to edit mode. So as you can see that our cube have no real details or geometry. So let's add some subdivision. Right click subdivide. Let's add like 10, 5, click somewhere else, tap to object mode. Now see, now it's working. Now let's select our latest object, tap to edit mode. Let's edit it. See it's working perfectly rotate see now suppose we want to reset our latest object to its original shape so how to do it press a to select everything then go to lattice then make regular so everything is messed up it's huge so what can we do here go to the latest object data properties then change these values let's drop it down to two See it's back to its original shape. Even after that sometime it don't work perfectly. So for that we use the shape key here. So tap to object mode, go to object data properties, then under shape key click on this plus icon. These are basic shape which is the original shape. Let's click on the plus icon again 
to add a new shape key. Now if we select the basis and change our lattice object, it will change the original shape. We cannot able to recover that. But if we select the key one or the shape key one, it will not affect our original shape. So now select the shape key one, select the lattice object, tap to edit mode. Let's change the resolution, but we cannot change the resolution after we add the shape key. So, so before adding shape key, make sure that you have proper number of cards for your object. So let's go to object mode again. Let's delete the shape keys. Let's add cards. After we are done, suppose it's okay for our object. Now we can add our shape key. Let's click on the plus icon again. So this is our original shape. Let's add the shape key, shape key one. Now tap to edit mode. Let's squeeze our subject. Press A to select everything. Press S to scale. Then press Z to scale, scale on Z axis only. Move the mouse, single left click. Press S to scale. Then press X to scale on X axis. Squeeze and stretch. So squeeze done. Tap to object mode. See, now it's on original shape because the change is applied only on the shape key. So now we can also animate it easily with shape key. Select the lattice object, go to object data properties, scroll down, select the shape key one. This is our timeline. We are at the first frame. Go to right side, select the shape key one. Click on this small dot to add a new keyframe. As you can see, we have a new keyframe here. Let's go to frame 25. Let's increase the value. Let's click on again. Let's go to 50. Let's change the value to zero. Let's add another keyframe. Now let's go to 75. Let's change it to again. Let's go to 100, zero. Let's change the in to 100 so that we can see the loop. Click on play. See a easy squeeze and stress animation. That's how we can use the shape key. So now we are in object mode. Let's select the latest object. Let's scale it here. Press on S, then press on Z to scale on Z axis. So now we want our latest object to affect only this middle part of our pillar. Let's add another shape key. Let's go to edit mode. So now the latest object is only covering the middle part of our cube object. So it should only affect at the middle part. So let's test. as you can see it's only affecting our middle parts tap to object mode now same process you can select the second shape key see it's really simple now select our cube and tap to edit mode now suppose we want only these vertices and these vertices to be affected by the latest object so how can we do that after selection is done Control plus G then assign to new group we can find the group name under here object data properties you can name it whatever you want for your identification let's name it g01 now tap to object mode now select our object or our cube now go to modifier tab let's click on the vertex group box and select g01 as you can see there is a slight change because our latest object is not affecting this middle vertices it's not really visible. Let's tap to object mode again. Let's let's remove these vertices from the group. This lower vertices. Go to go to object data properties. Then select the G01 group and click on remove. Now they are not in G01 group. Now tap to object mode. As you can see that the latest object is only affecting the vertices which are in vertex group. If you want to check that which vertices are in vertex group, select the cube tap to edit mode then go to object data properties select the group and click on select so these vertices are affected by the latest modifier so suppose we want to invert the selection or only this part will be affected so for that tap to object mode go to modifier tab then click on this arrow to invert selection now only affecting this lower part so guys that's all i can think of about the latest modifier if you have any question or suggestion please comment below See you on the next tutorial.